Hi everyone, it's Diana at Catherine Diana Studios and I am currently um, adding more uh, junk journals to my project list and I realized that the camera just shook. Sorry about that because I had to sit on my uh, stool, which is like a bar stool at my desk here and um, it's kind of high so I kind of came off of it from adjusting the camera. Everything went wonky so um anyway so you know because i don't have enough journal series going on i decided to add another one so um, this one's for uh garden series and um i thought i'd do a craft with me on the envelope so um i've chosen there's seven of them i've chosen all the cover pages for each and boy i'm having a heck of a time seeing if you can see that i think we're good um you know what i need to put those that way don't i there we go and um uh anyway so this is the cover uh and obviously i need to do a lot of work on this um and each one is has its own personalized um, envelope that i am altering so i've used distress ink uh this is from napkins that have been decoupaged on this is a label that i picked up from dollar tree this is from i believe this was on graphic some graphic 45 paper Oops, sorry, I'm running the screen there. Um, so, uh, and then here's the back. And so that's also from the same napkin. And it's this, um, oops, let me fix that. The tissue in my sleeve there. It's from this napkin here. And honestly, I do not, oh, I know what brand it is. Here we go. Um, you know, you get these at, um, can you see? I'm trying to see if I can, where is it? Is it focusing? I can't tell because I've got the thing holding the phone. Kind of right. Here it is. Are you going to focus? Focus, 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 focus. Well, it's just not going to do that, is it? Uh, anyway, well, it uh, looks like a Michelle design works. A little elephant on there. And um, it's from all these beautiful napkins that you pick up at um, uh, Tuesday morning for so cheap. So these are the, this is the napkin I use to do the decoupaging on this particular envelope. So this will go with this one and what I usually do is I'll do the envelope first and put the cover with it and then I'll pick I'll do them all each one in a row and then I'll pick them up and then they start to speak to me because their personality starts to come out and I start seeing where I'm going to go and what I want to do so this one's done and I'll tackle this um, later but I'm going to start the next one and I thought we could do one together so I'm going to toss that over there and show you what will come up on this guy here. So these are all garden themed and obviously this doesn't have much, um, you know, really doesn't look like much of gardening, but uh, there are some florals here and I'm going to embellish the front so it'll have, um, you know, it'll show a garden theme there. So this is just the cover in itself and this is the envelope that I've uh, done the uh, Distress Oxides um, and um, that's pretty much it. So this is ready to go. So this envelope will be for this page. I'm hoping I'm not getting too much glare. And I'm going to go, because I love to mix patterns, I'm going to go with this napkin. So I'm hoping you can see that well. I've got a kind of tight little spot here I'm working in because I've got so much stuff on my workspace uh, because I'm working on so many different things uh, for Christmas uh, to get on the shop. So. Anyway, so this is also of the same brand. I don't know if that's going to pick that up and, oops, and focus. Come on. Well, it's not, but the same brand. It's uh, Michelle, M-I-C-H-E-L, Design Works, and it's just beautiful, beautiful peacock. So that's what we're going to do. So um, I'm going to hopefully stay in, in uh, camera here in frame. Let me kind of back this out a little bit. I don't want to do it too much because you don't want to see the legs of my camera uh, tripod and you don't want to see me in here either because you know you want to see the stuff <laughs> this stuff so uh, I'm gonna just get down here on my knees on my little my little um, watch my doodle uh, bar stool and go from here so here we go so I have no idea what I'm gonna do but I'm just gonna start doing uh, as I kind of feel inspired so I'm gonna set this aside and kind of look at it and 
you know, you look at things and they'll inspire you. You get ideas and, um, you know, it starts to talk to you. It tells you what it wants, really. You can, so much from art, uh, as you look at an item, you can just see where you need to go. So, um, I'm sure you all know this trick. Most of you do. You just grab a piece of tape and... <laughs> And have no success and it sticks and you pull and come on baby cakes oh for Pete's sake you know what my hands have an awful lot of you can see I've been I've inked everything else and I've got lotion and stuff on my hands because my hands are drying out and I think it's just clogging up the oops that happens sometimes too you gotta be kind of careful that it's clogging up the um, the tape so I'm unable to um, get a good grab here Oh, for crying out loud. There we go. All right. So, uh, we take all these pa uh, backings off. Usually, most napkins have two. Some have three. Some only have one. Um, and you take this off. And I keep mine. I know a lot of... Oops, I think I just shook the camera. I'm sorry about that. Um, I've, my cord for my extra light that's right above me up here um, is kind of close. So... Um, it's supplemental light, light that I have plugged in over here, so it's kind of just hanging there. And I have no place to attach it, so. Anyway, so I keep these because they are great for picking up messes. I know a lot of people toss them either in the uh, recycle bin or their, their tra trash bin. Um, you know, I try to recycle everything as best I can, but they come in really handy. I keep them near my workspace so that if I've spilled something or I need to clean something up, there they are, so. Um, it's like a freebie because you know we all use a lot of um, baby wipes and stuff to clean up and that's just an extra nice little freebie so alrighty so what I'm thinking about doing is adding because I love this pattern I like how all of that I'm gee oh gosh I gotta get over here am I in frame I sure hope so uh, I like how all of this goes together and I know I've said it before and I think I said it earlier too I've always had a lot of inspiration from um, like Laura Ashley and Waverly. Um, I've always loved um, my, uh, how they mix patterns when I first really became aware of it. I guess it was back in the 80s. Um, so uh, anyway, and various fashion designers doing it as well. So I really like these. And normally I have flowers. This is actually going out of my comfort zone. I really, really, really don't know what I'm going to do. Um, because this is, you know, a straight line and how do you make that blend and I don't know so we're just gonna go with it because the nice thing is is when you do these things number one it's just paper if you goof it up just if it's that bad uh, just throw it in the recycle bin and start over um, number two is because it's paper you can always cover it up with something else so um, you know if you, if you goof up too much it's really not gonna be that big of a deal Ooh, isn't that pretty so I'm kind of thinking what I really wish, honestly, is I might have to turn this around. I guess I will because I would love for the peacock to be on this side, but I can't because peacock faces that way. So I'm going to, I think I'll grab a little bit of that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. That's okay. That's the thing with art. Sometimes you got a plan and sometimes you don't. And when you don't, ooh, I don't want to lose the little doodad on his head. Those uh, pretty little feathers. Uh, when you don't have a plan, if you just start and go with it, it's amazing what you can come up with. Um, some of the prettiest creations I've ever made came from not having a plan. Now I'm noticing something on this napkin as I'm tearing this, which is kind of a drag. There's a circular spot here that's really shiny. So uh, I don't know if you could could actually see that. Do you see that? It's like there's something. I don't know what that would be. And I just got this out, so it's not like it has like um, Fabri-Tac on it or anything. I'm going to. Uh, do this guy because this one here doesn't have any of that. So, oops, oh my goodness. 
you know, and you can, I know a lot of folks, I've done it too, where you get the napkin wet and, uh, with a paintbrush and uh, just kind of trace around the area that you want. I do that sometimes, sometimes I don't. Today I'm not doing it, so there you go. Um, all right, now, what do I want to do with this guy? How much of this guy do I want? I don't know. Uh, let's just see. Oops. Just tore his head. Goodness. That happens. Sometimes no matter how careful you are, something goes wonky and... Oh, well. That's all right. All right, let's see what we can do with this guy. I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. I think I might. I don't want to lose too much of him. I really want him on this side. but oh, I don't know. Is that alright? Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'll do something a little bit different. A little more... A little more outside of my comfort zone. Like putting this here. Which, of course, I cut this off to fit this side. <laughs> so, it's going to be short. Um, if I use it. Yeah, eh, not going to do that. Alright, let's go back this way. And I think... Well, I guess he could go here. I like to have a label or something on here so the person can put their name on on their journal. Um, you know, maybe I could just... put him here. And... Just do a little in the corner. Um, well, actually, probably this corner because I'm going to put a fake stamp here. So I don't know. I I'm not feeling it, but I'm you know this like I said, this is out of my comfort zone. I like flowers. I want to put this on here, and I don't see anything that goes with this that would go with that. Although there are some things over here, like. Da, 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 da. Sorry, don't want to reach too far. Um, this, some of these colors here are in this napkin, but I don't know if I want to put anything like that uh, on here. Oh my goodness, I really like the deeper colors uh, because they're out of my comfort zone um, and it's making me push, push my noggin to think outside of the box. So, well, you know what I could do? I could just leave this as is and put the label on and put a stamp. How about that? And then that's three, so that's good. Three items because in designing, uh, my, uh, one of my relatives, my stepmother, was an interior designer. So she taught me all kinds of tricks about um, collections and putting things out. And it's always in odd numbers. You're going to have one, you're going to have three, five, seven, nine, whatever. So, all right, now here comes the fun part, because these um, napkins can be quite delicate. So, you think you're doing great, you've got your groove going, and suddenly you're, you're as careful as you can be, and the next thing you know, you've torn the napkin. Um, which, it's not too hard to put them back together and make them look like nothing ever happened, but sometimes it can be kind of a pain. So, it just depends on how big it is and where it tore and how much of the glue goobered it all up. So let's do about like, ah! make him a little straighter, I guess. Not like that, I guess. La la la. Please turn out Mr. Peacock. I have seen peacocks on uh, my first trip to Hawaii back in the 80s, and we went, we were on uh, the island of Oahu, and there's a beautiful nature reserve and park there in the middle of the island, and I was staying in the middle of the island. Um, oh no, no, I stayed in the middle of the island the second time, sorry, the first time I actually stayed at a hotel in Waikiki Beach. Um, and the peacocks were wandering around and showing off all this magnificent beauty, and it was just so gorgeous and I loved their call and they were just magnificent creatures and it's, they when you see them in person it's pretty amazing and they're quite large birds actually they're pretty big and especially when they fan out their feathers they're like a pickup truck coming at you <laughs> it's really pretty big 
So, all right, so here's a spot here that we gotta get. Um, I try to go around and make sure I don't have any unsecured spots. Now, see how this piece right here doesn't quite go? That's not a big deal because I will go around the edges with some Distress Ink and uh, give it a little bit of depth, depth and dimension and it should be fine. So this is kind of came off kind of tight. Um, man, it makes me want to go back to use that one. But that's okay. I can, you know, you can come up with something here. I will. I know I will. I'll come up with something. Um, all right, so I'm going to do the label. So let me grab one here. Um, I've got labels. Um, that's kind of big. So these are different colors here. I could maybe do one of those. Like that guy right there. How about that? Give that one a whirl. Now I gotta think about what I'm gonna do on his head. You know what I could do a lot of times what I'll do, and you can do this too. If you have a little boo-boo, uh, you just put a flower there or something like that. No one ever knows. <laughs> they have no idea. Well, your crafty friends might know, but no one else does. Do I wanna do a do a yeah, I'll just do it like so, I guess. Uh, over just a little bit because I'm going to find one of the stamps. Let me make sure that's right, because when you're... Sorry. Good thing I got my hair colored yesterday, because you're looking at my roots. Um, let me see. Kind of hard, because the paper, you know, you dye it, you get it gets wet, it gets wonky and crinkly, and you want to make sure that you're... Getting it on there straight. Of course, if anything, you know, isn't perfect. I think that's just part of its charm and, you know, the artistic part of it all. So I think that's pretty good. You know, I hope my camera's all right. I was getting kind of, kind of full. So it's going to be a real drag if I'm sitting here yammering to myself. And uh, it's not recording anymore. So let's see. I'm going to grab my stamp collection, which I forgot to grab a second ago before I started. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh my goodness. Break my back trying to lift this thing up. It's so enormous. As a matter of fact, I'm missing a large envelope full of stamps. So, I don't know. Let's pick a country. Because um, I have them all sorted by countries. Let's do... Uh, What's in here? Man, there's nothing pretty in that one. Um, I saw something tropical. Let's see, what have I got? Uh, what do I have here? Uh, oh, that's kind of pretty. It's a Bahama stamp. Now, it's a little torn, which I don't think I'll use, but what I like is the orange in here because the orange uh, plays off beautifully, beautifully. Orange and yellows um, and kind of lime greens and such. They play off beautifully against dark blue. Um, so maybe I can... I got stuff in here from countries that don't even exist anymore. Um, this is Belgian Congo, um, which... You know, back in the day, I could tell you so much more about that when I learned all of this in high school, but I don't know what to recall. I'm sure it's under a new name now. Um, and i kind of sad to say I really don't know, so I'm going to have to look that up. Um, all right, what is this? Uh, this is Belgium. I'm looking at least for some flowers, something like that. Belgium isn't very tropical anyway, so <laughs> it's like, no, this is a beautiful tropical type bird. Um, here's Bermuda. Uh, yeah, it looks like a fisherman one here. Uh, I don't know. I'd have to fix the edge. It's from Hamilton. You can see the cancer date. This is sometime in the 60s or 70s because I've had these since I was a teenager back in the mid 70s. Um, that's interesting, but I think florals, I'm going for, um, you know, garden kind of themes, so I might as well stick to it. 
Uh, what do we got here? Oh, that's pretty. Oh, what the heck? I'm just going to go with that one. The, the pop of color here is nice. And it's not the same yellow, but there's a, you know, a yellow there, the queen. So let's just go ahead and use this guy and call this front side done. And we'll go to the back and see what we come up with. And then i got to come up with something for his noggin. Because I don't like that it tore down so deeply. That's not so great. All right, let's see here. Can I have that straight? Because now that I'm up against this, you really got to make sure it's straight. Otherwise, it's going to look really goofy. Um, sorry, I know I'm probably out of frame there. Uh, but I got to make sure this is okay. I think that looks pretty good. La, 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 la. All right, gotcha. Now, mm, you know, I wonder if I could just do... No, I don't want to do that. Do you really know what you can do, too? I'm going to be sneaky. Of course, I have glue all over my fingers, so everything's sticking. Uh, I don't think this white is still wet. There we go. Oh, you know what? Let me put the lid on my stamp, because the last thing I need is to knock them over and have about 300 gazillion stamps all over the floor. That would be kind of a drag. It's bad enough I have all the little bits and pieces, you know, how we drop everything on the floor and then clean it when done because we've got so much going on. All right, look at that. I wonder if I can, if I get rid of that, because that's part of his head on the other, well, you know what? He's missing part of his head. Boy, I hope this is coming through, y'all. <laughs> y'all, I picked that up years ago and then lived in the South for a while in the States, and so it's y'all. I say that a lot, even though I'm not from there. And uh, it's also kind of funny. I didn't know until I moved there that y'all is singular and all y'all is plural. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. Um, but they learned me up, as I was told. <laughs> so, alright, let's try this guy here. And what's so nice... Dang it, I've got glue all over my fingers. There we go. What's so nice about this is this little patchwork here, if I can get that side on pretty well. Boy, that's not... You, no one's going to really notice. You and I are going to know. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm terrified to move it because I've got it matched up. So I'm just going to go ahead ah, and stick it on right now. And then work from this side kind of backward. Does that make sense? Yippee! Not too bad. Cool beans. Alright, I still got some goober happening over here, but that's not too shabby. Alright, I know I turned it upside down, I'm sorry. Um, it's a little bit harder and I'm probably blocking what I'm doing, but I just want to make sure I have everything glued on here. And I don't want to get too much glue around the edges. I don't really like to see it. That sharp edge there doesn't look right, so I need to pull some of that off. You know, sometimes when there's, come on, little booger, when there's a lot of glue around the edges, um, and you just can't, you know, you can't wipe it off, it's just too late, um, or because of what you had, it's just the way it turns out, because um, it was a small, small piece, you know, super delicate, and it's just too impossible to get this size in there, even these smaller sizes, you know, they don't work with precision like some of our regular glue does when you're trying to apply it. And um, anyway, um, so uh, what was I saying? <laughs> oh, I know. Uh, so what I'll do sometimes is I will, if you can see it and it looks kind of globby, I'll just take the glue with my finger or the stick and I'll just kind of dot a little here, there, and everywhere. And it just creates this... Um, kind of like waxy finish on it and gives it texture and a little bit of sheen and then it doesn't look quite so much like it's some kind of sore thumb mistake so 
All right, so this isn't too bad. This isn't exactly, I didn't know what I was gonna do, but that's, that's all right. You know, because this inside, and I can do a little more bird and garden theme with this here. Now, I always decorate the back of mine, too. Throw a little something on there. So, how about, I've got this big strip of the feathers. So, maybe I could do a little piece there. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Mm -mm, you know, I, have, I, never, I never do them like this. What if I do it that way? Hmm. Oh, that looks funny because they're not laying. All right, so. Never mind. Um. Hmm. Well, I suppose that's okay. Um. Oh, you know what? And I don't know if you can see this. You may not. I'm going to take this off. And again, I sure hope this thing is still recording. I will pitch a fit. If it's not, then you guys will miss miss out. <laughs> Ooh, that's a bit. Isn't that like Wisconsin? Kind of doesn't it do that? Or is that Minnesota? Mm -hmm. I think it's Wisconsin. Uh, let's try that. You know, and going a little off. No, oh, that just doesn't look right. It's so, you know. Sticks out like a sore thumb. Maybe something like that might be a little bit better. Mm, give it a whirl. Whatevs. Nobody's going to be looking at the back anyway, but it just, I think it kind of adds a nice little something. It kind of finishes it off, you know? No, I don't think I have some all the way to the edge, do I? Mm, not too much. Put that there. All right, so this guy on. I try to check my edges just to make sure there's nothing that's lifting up. May as well try to stick a little little glue under there. Um, if it's small, delicate pieces like this especially, they're a lot harder to put the glue on the back of the napkin um, when they're smaller. I think. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a clod. That's more like it. <laughs> um, and go a little there, a little bit over here. Oh, and by the way, well, I think I showed it uh, earlier. Um, you know, see how I'm going over the closure for the envelope? I went ahead and I sealed them, and then I just cut the tops off. Which, by the way, this happened to me before. I decorated an envelope, and then I found out I did it upside down. So always check that your, whichever way you want this thing to go, your items to go in, that you have it the right way. Otherwise, it's, it's a real drag. You spend all that time putting everything together only to find out that you uh, wasted all that time. So um, then you have to come up with something clever to fix your goofy mistakes. So um, that needs a little wallop of glue. And I need to get my other glasses on. When we start getting into the small stuff here, I can't see as well. The joys of getting up there in age, but that's all right. Happy to be here. So thankful to be here. Um, maybe a little bit of this on this side. I Or like a seal here. Of course, that's a really bad... Well, it's not really bad, but I mean... Hey. Oh. Ah! Fingers are all sticky. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, so I'm just doing it. And you know what's funny? You guys are probably the same way. I come up with an idea, and I think it's done, and then I continue to working on it about 10 or 12 more times. And then I'm like, okay, now it's done. How about just maybe that in the corner, or do I like it there? See it? There. My fingers are so sticky. Do I like it there? No. Do I like it up here? Maybe. Maybe more on an angle. You know, I never put them like that, so I'm just going to do it. Make myself step out of my comfort zone and just... Sorry about that, you guys. While I was in the middle of, or toward the end of recording, my camera went kaput. So I knew it was getting full. Um, 
and uh, my phone was getting full and it said that's it we're out so um, I had to dump a bunch of stuff off and now we're back at it you know I keep a lot of pictures on there stuff that I've done and um, pictures I've seen things that I've taken pictures of at stores or for ideas stuff that inspires me so I don't want to take them off my phone because well they're right there so um, anyway so I've got let me make sure I've got this okay pardon my squeaky chair yeah we're good okay um, so where we left off where it cut off was I was getting ready to put this on and kind of fiddling with it so I went ahead and did this I really didn't know what else to do uh, it's a little different it's a little funky and I think I'm just gonna leave it because the most of the fo uh, focal point is going to be the front and then of course when the um, journal is inside and this will be embellished um, if you've seen some of my other videos just you've seen how I've embellished these things and this will I have more garden related things but you know this is kind of mimics leaves these flourishes and so that's garden, kind of a gardening thing so um, anyway so the last thing I'm going to do on this was just ink around the edges just get some distress ink this is broken china um, and do you all have this problem uh, can you see how this is torn here this happens so much I'm going to take these off and they fall apart so I actually glued it not onto the base here but glued the piece so that it would hold um, I have plenty to spare but um, you know because I have I don't know several of these handles with just permanently I have one in blue and green and red and uh, brown and black I think those are the ones that I have but um, anyway it's just so disappointing it's happening more and more and I'm not understanding why but it's it's like hey <laughs> you know this stuff isn't cheap it's not expensive either but I would like it to last a little bit so this one you're probably really not going to see as I'm noticing. I'm going to clip this piece right here that actually, you know what, it just needs a little more glue. Um, but the ink on the other side uh, is pretty darn close to the same color as the um, Distress Oxide I used, which I don't even remember which one it was. And it's way down in the box over there and I don't want to get it. But um, anyway... Um, I can see that little piece sticking off of there, so oh, I guess that's pretty good. Okay, so um, anyway, so you won't, I don't think, you know, I'm not really noticing any difference. You can see um, it's picking up the color around there, so I don't always do this, but a lot of times I do. And there's just that spot where I mentioned it was kind of, well, <laughs> as I just picked that up, let's fix that. Uh, where I mentioned it what didn't quite hit the end and it was um, you could see it more because the colors whoops were kind of light and so by adding a little bit of the darker color you don't notice it as much so there's that finish going around here there's the I could stain some color inside where the two pieces come together I can see it you guys probably can't see it but I can see it so um, anyway, so I don't always go around the edges, but sometimes I do. Frames it out a little bit, gives a little bit of depth um, and definition. So there's a little piece there, that I'm just a little bit more. So basically, that's it. And like I said in the beginning of the first video, I guess I'm going to have to splice these two together, um, is um, I'll do the cover... Um, you know, I pick the paper, what's going to be the, the journal, and then I'll, I'll do, I'll, I won't even do the cover necessarily, I didn't mean to say that. I'll do the envelope I'm going to keep them in when I'm using envelopes. I don't always do these envelope type journal things, but I do like them because they turn out really, uh, I like having them kept inside. It kind of protects them a little bit. Um, so anyway, I'll just do the outside and then kind of go from there and see where I end up. And sometimes they're similar and other times they just take like they're completely different and the only thing that is the same uh, or related are the color hues that I use and um, between the envelope and the journal but otherwise and the tags inside and all that kind of stuff the flips and if I put any belly bands or anything 
So, uh, but this, <clears throat> because it has this beautiful peacock, I'm kind of wondering if I'm just going to do nothing but tropical uh, flowers and um, birds, because I have a lot of bird napkins um, that I pick up over at um, Tuesday morning. So, uh, anyway, so so that's it. So there's the, the, the envelope that the journal will go in, and the journal itself, once it's embellished and all that, um, and I should have grabbed some more in between the first video pooping out on me in this one um, is um, there I don't know yay thick half inch or so something like that and there'll be some embellishing here and um, you know by the time they get in here if I can get it in get my fingers to work hello <laughs> there we go um, you know it'll just be like that so and what's, oops, I'm sorry, I'm so used to teaching, so I'm always having to show everybody this way, because they're over there, and I'm over here. So, um, anyway, um, you know, these make such a lovely conversation piece, or just something special, you know, on your nightstand at the end of the day, where you just write your thoughts, or whatever, you know, so, um, but certainly they're going to catch someone's attention if you put them put something like this on your um, coffee table, you know, so, anyway, so this is done, and I'm glad I went out of my comfort zone. I'm not convinced I'm crazy about this. It's real simple, but that's okay. You know, sometimes I go over the top. You know, my world more is more. <laughs> so, um, so this is all right. A couple little touches, and um, this turned out kind of neat, and it's completely different than what I normally do, um, and, uh, and it, it works. So, anyway, so there you go. So, hope you uh, enjoyed this, and um, gosh, uh, thanks for watching, and have yourself a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.